I don't know how it's the 23rd already. This week is going by too quickly. And then I'm pretty sure that tomorrow and uh, the 25th are going to be really long. I just know I've got to do better on my calories today. Like, a lot better. So I'm going to behave myself. You know, I'm pretty sure I can smell chorizo getting cooked in the kitchen. So I'm going to get myself sorted out. I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, Norman Diet Shake Powder. And see if there's anything else I can add to the donation box. And the sun is really bright. Like, really bright. I uploaded a lot yesterday. Apparently this stuff actually went started to go through really late last night. I don't know. I think my mom's got some more stuff that she needs to wrap since all the wrapping papers and probably. Maybe I'll go to the park or something to her just go ahead and wrap stuff in here. So the numbers are going up in my area and um, I'm aware that the um, the push to get the vaccine out in uh, this area is also going pretty fast, but I still think that um, I'm probably going to need to get on my medical stuff and uh, push my injections appointment out till I wonder how long I can do that. Maybe late January would still be better than right now, though. Because I would have... That would be where, you know, people who had more uh, access to the vaccine and had time for it to kick in. Now look at the calendar. My birthday's going to be on Saturday this year. Well, next year. It's in February. But it'll be on Saturday. It's probably unlikely I'm going to be able to do anything major about it, though. In the last couple of years, it kind of sucked. Because this year, I was sick, and the year before was totally overtaken by a family emergency. So, that sucked. Um, right, let me go ahead and get through Christmas and stuff first. I really got to trim the nails on this hand. Okay, so we are back to this number. Alright, here's my outfit for the day. It says, I drink and I know things. It's a Tyrion quote from Game of Thrones. Paired with um, gray yoga pants. And in getting in my closet, I have removed three dresses. Two of which I is really painful for me to part with, these, with two of these. And... Um, I'm never going to be able to fill them out again. That's for sure. Uh, I was, like, specifically the red lace one. That one, I do not have the back fat for anymore. You would think, due to the cut of it, that I would be talking about the front, but no. No, there's, like, a huge gaping area in the back now, and that's kind of gross. I know I look completely trashed. It is 1.35 and I can't sit around looking at this box of donate stuff with this dress I'm going to miss so dang much. Even though I've worked so hard to get the heck out of it. Because I don't want to be a size 14. So I'm going to go burn off some of my frustration with uh some exercise because it's about 78 degrees outside i am actually burning up now that the car door is closed and one of my munsies currently has a hydra looking icon on it so normally you can't hit your own munsies but you can if there's something special you want to pick up and i want to go pick this up i've got extra munsies i have not done this in months so hopefully i can remember how and i'm gonna go Take a very long walk, get a really bad sunburn, looks like, and um, get some exercise. 
and maybe try to relax a little bit. It's really warm today. It's uh, 2.23 and I guess I should be considering what I'm gonna fix for lunch when I get home or whether I need to set up and uh, grab one of those pizzas, those mod pizzas, the Libby ones. Um, I don't know, I'm mostly taking out my irritation about my dress is not fitting anymore um, by walking it off and this is actually a little uh, wildlife viewing area and so I'm the only one out here. If I was quiet, I might see some stuff, but instead I'm out here deploying munsies. It's really nice though. And aside from a little red tractor out in the field across from me, there's really nobody out here. And so I can um, record myself on my phone without um, giving off the self-involved Instagram vibes. <laughs> like, you know, I don't know the rest of the whole channel. <laughs> Um, I don't know, I'm feeling really down right now, even with the, the sunshine. It's really nice outside, though. This is perfect weather for me. Except that the whole sunlight thing, the direct sunlight. I'm gonna get such a sunburn, because I didn't put on any sunscreen. I'm gonna go ahead and try to make another mile and a half at least, and, um really wear myself out and hopefully make up for the two days of going slightly over my calorie count in a row. But if I do too much, then I'm probably going to wind up doing that again today just to make sure that I'm not going too far under. You guys can't fool me. I know what this is. I mean, it's geared up to look like some kind of pipe or something, but that is clearly a Dalek take one look at this thing you know this thing before it rusted up it was running around going exterminate okay it is four o'clock almost exactly different location same pizza and as I had just gotten back to the car after the park after walking for a good long time and burning a decent chunk of change in calories um, I got a message from my dad. He asked me to go to, uh... Thank you. With research... He asked me to go to Home Depot and pick up... ...something. So I did that. To wait for my... Um, this works. Yeah, so my dad asked me to stop at the hardware store for, you know, a little... ...five dollar item. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I got it. No problem. And, uh... I still had another 15 minutes to go before my pizza was gonna be ready. That's fine by me. I should have grabbed like a soda or something because I'm thirsty. But I wanna get home. I think I'm gonna blur out my windows or whatever. Seems to work okay for me. Oh, I forgot this blasted parking lot is just awful. Maybe we need to wait and get something to drink. I'll just eat it. Then I'll drink a whole lot of water when I get back to the house. For dinner, which wasn't really organized, I put some paneer with some tikka, uh, sorry, butter masala sauce in a bowl, microwaved it, and then ate it with a couple of low-carb tortillas. And I know, I know this means that I am a monster, but it is now illegal to burn people at the stake, so you really have no recourse. Sorry. It's 12.58, and I'm kind of cold, so that's why the hoodie. It was a lot warmer today, and that's why I did not make it as far as I thought that I would get at the park today. I still got a whole lot of steps in, but the rest, we can't really help that. I've been watching more of The Crown, and around midnight, Netflix asked me if I was still watching The Crown because they're so judgmental and it was like, well, I could be watching Breaking Bad, but 
And I'll just be more inclined to Walter White it up because, you know, having kids is expensive. But I'm not going to do that. I have a squeaky clean reputation to stick to. I've managed to maintain it this far. So, there's like three types of wrapping paper, like right here. And I'm playing with tape and scissors. Okay. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve for most folks. Not for me, because I'll be picking up my kids on the 26th. I did notice uh, while editing this video that apparently some of my hair in the back is not just not curled well. It's like, didn't, didn't appear to be curled like at all. And I know what this is about. This is because of, I didn't get gel in it last time I gel cast. But you know what? I... I soaked my hair this morning, it should have just, you know, refreshed all of it, but no. We're just gonna have long, weird parts in the back for fun. It's been a long day. And I haven't even gotten that much done. I think it's mostly been emotional because of the whole... I now have very little nice stuff left to wear. I've made a post on Facebook saying that if you see me out when the plague is over and I'm in... A baggy t-shirt and yoga pants you need to mind your business because my closet is going to take years to recover from this but i worked so hard to get to this point so you know and i feel better physically i sure wasn't doing this all you know let me just run out to the park for a while and walk outside of eyesight of my car I wasn't doing that several months back. Granted, I didn't even start this till I'd been like, I don't know, 10 pounds off. That's a downside. That's a downside when you don't think you're going to stick with something. So you don't do the, diff the before picture and stuff. And then later on, it's working and you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> Where was I at then? It's like, all I've got is data logging on my phone. What did I eat this day? How many steps did I get? In? Great. But, um, how are my clothes fitting at this point? Don't know. You forgot to take pictures of that part, Sarah. You didn't give us any video clips then. You didn't get started until you already had a good start. I was cautious, okay? I was cautiously optimistic. And it turned out that I was able to stick with it. Good for me. Great. This doesn't have to look like everybody else's health journeys look. I got a little too warm while I was walking. Because I decided to go off of the paved trails and go on some gravel trails. With a bit more hill to them that are more suited for horses. There's one gate that is uh, on this other county road. And I went over there looking to snag a Munzee and I didn't manage to find it. There was a square that looked like somebody had painted over on the post and then, the, and then like a sticker had been peeled off. So I left a comment on the Munzee page and hopefully they can either, you know, go out and check on it or take it down. I don't know. Then I went and put another Munzee nearby that spot, but there was a bit more up and down hill-wise than what I usually do, and that's a little more difficult for me. Tomorrow, I don't really have any plans for tomorrow. I don't want to sit around watching TV all day. I really don't. I think making sure that uh, part of my curtains are open before I go to sleep has been helping. There is that cling film on the window that's mirrored. So as long as my lights are off, nobody's being creepy at me. And thankfully the street light that used to be such a problem that I got the blackout curtains in the first place is currently malfunctioning. So it's, you know, it's busted and that's not going to keep me awake. Man, the wind is loud today. I think I'm going to call it kind of early tonight. I'm just going to get this 
finished editing and upload. I've been playing with transitions. I'm still learning and, you know, trying to figure out what's cool, what's not. And of course that's subjective, so if I find it cool, that's what you're going to see. Especially because I rarely get comments, except for to tell me that you can get that bread at Costco. I don't go to Costco. I know people who do. I don't have a problem with that, but I don't go to Costco. I don't even need the solar bread anymore. I am finishing it off, though. And I'm still trying to go uh, low sugar. But so far, bread, pasta, it hasn't been a problem. I've, I've gotten to the point where that's tolerable. And I'm still avoiding sugar. Tracking my calories. I still feel like I got a ways to go. I am kind of concerned that I'm going to just settle into the upper tw uh, 120s. And... That's still a bit high for somebody my height. I mean, not when compared to where I was at. Certainly not when compared to where I was at five years ago. When I was in the lower 180s. But I can do better to take care of myself than that. Just by watching what I'm eating. And being able to move around more, having the energy to do that is certainly going to prolong my life. Which is going to be short enough as it is. I think I'm going to call it. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow, but um, hopefully it won't be too bad because today I was, I was really trying to avoid overdoing it with my arms. I did have to carry my purse with me, carry the ones, the munsies and my phone and stuff because um, I don't have any pockets on my yoga pants. I tried. But carrying my purse the whole time may have, may have messed with my shoulders. We'll find out tomorrow morning. I can guarantee you the moment I start moving around, I will know. And if that's the case, then I guess I'm going to watch The Crown all day or Breaking Bad, or any of the other stuff on my list. Thanks for sharing my day with me.